Kansas. My name is Jan Davies Briggs. I would like to welcome you to the 133rd celebration of St. David's Day. And even though we can't be together this year, I'm excited to be here in Arvonia where my great grandparents came from Wales, as many of your ancestors did, uh, in 1869. And boy, am I glad they did! Or should I say, burr, I'm glad they did. As I walk to the township hall here in Arvonia, it's a beautiful, sunny, snowy day. It has been below zero all morning here in the township. Um, I think that makes me appreciate my ancestors even more on this cold day, thinking of the hardships that they had on their journey here to Arvonia, to Kansas. I grew up just five miles down the road from Arvonia, and I spent many, much time as a child walking this area, riding a bike, traveling on the school bus, taking Sunday rides with my parents in the country, and I totally understand the love they have for this area, this township, and this country. I am proud and honored to take you on this journey this year. We have many Welch friends that are offering you a gift of love in music, readings, history, and they are giving that gift to you and those of you that are listening to us from afar I'd like to say we will see you again next year and may we open with a prayer 
As we gather to celebrate the steadfast traditions of St. David's Day in untraditional ways, let us pray. O God, who graciously bestowed on St. David of Wales the virtue of wisdom and the gift of eloquence, and made him an example of prayer and pastoral zeal, grant that your church may ever prosper, and that all who gather in sacred space to celebrate today may render you joyful praise. In the name of Jesus Christ and the unity of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there o oh, saint us that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the
The Algonquin Historic Preservation Society was formed to help oversee and advise on projects and events. They have worked diligently to restore these buildings by organizing and participating in events and applying for grants. People with interest in the projects have generously donated. Lots of progress has been made. We are proud of the results thus far, but have more to be done. Many enjoy visiting to take photographs, learn the history, and see the sites. You can learn more about us on our Facebook page, Arvonia Historic Preservation Society. For tours of buildings, contact us at 620-794-3917. Without a doubt, the Welsh spirit lives on in Arvonia, Kansas. Join us in celebrating our Welsh heritage. Deep Yule Delhi Happies. Happy St. David's Day on March 1st, it's upcoming. My name is Gwyneth Kloss Colgrove. I'm the president of the Great Plains Welsh Heritage Project located in Wymore, Nebraska. Hopefully in this year, 2021, we can all be together again. In honor of St. David on March 1st, I would like to sing for you Colin Lawn. Now many of you will know this is a famous Welsh hymn in our hymn books, but this is set to a different tune by Robot Arwine who is a distant cousin of mine and a wonderful composer in North Wales. I hope you enjoy it. Go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The wise men at their end no dark is right. Because their words head forth no lighting, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright, their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight, and learned too late they grieved it's on its way, do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight 
blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay, rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless, me now with your fierce tears, I pray, do not go gentle into that good night, rage, rage against the dying of the light. I'm Sally Connard. I'm on the board of the St. David's Day Society, and I'd like to play for you this afternoon our Hidinos all through the night. My accompanist is Tiffany Budke. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Devin McKeelan. I live in Arvonia, Kansas, and I am a senior at Lebo High School. I will be reading a poem that was recited by my friend Lou's grandfather, Clinton Davies, at a St. David's Day competition in Arvonia many years ago. The Arrow in the Song by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I shot an arrow into the air that fell to earth I knew not where. For so swiftly it flew the sight, could not follow in its flight. I breathed the song into the air, it fell to earth I knew not where. For who has sight so keen and strong that it can follow the flight of song? Long, long afterward, in an oak, I found the arrow still unbroke. In the song, from beginning to end, I found again in the heart of a friend. The Violin Solo Now by Kendra Griggs. It is well with our soul. And I would also like to add one thing, that at some point during our program and celebration today, we will be doing the memorial hymn, as we always do, to remember our loved ones that we've lost this past year, uh, our fellow Welch brothers and sisters. But I would also like to add that, especially this year, may we remember 
over a hundred, hundreds of thousands of souls that have been lost to COVID and their families who might still be dealing with that loss. And may it be that it is well with their soul.
Hello, this is Brian Reese, and I'd like to share a little bit of information from the Osage County Chronicle dated August 7, 1869, about Arvonia. Now, my family doesn't have any direct ties that I'm aware of from Arvonia, as my father's grandparents settled south of Emporia, one about a mile east of the Sardis Church, the other set about a mile and a half west. I actually suspect they met at church, but I don't know that for certain. That was never shared, and I never did ask. But here we go from the editor's state record on Arvonia. I arrived in this place this afternoon and put up at the City Hotel, which is a large and well-constructed building. I would judge from appearances that it is in size 40 by 80 feet. It is well kept at all times, the table having the very best the land affords. The proceeds of the City Hotel go to the Arvonia Town Company. Arvonia is a new town, only 10 weeks old. It is situated on a beautiful location perhaps the finest town site in southern Kansas, it being on the south bank of the Meridazine, 20 miles south of Burlingame, 10 miles north of Neosho Rapids, and 20 miles northeast of Emporia. It is on the line of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, and also of the Topeka, Burlington, and Vertigris Railroad. Wood and coal are in abundance. The coal crops out in the streets. In digging a well at the depth of 14 feet, a fine vein of coal was struck, which promises to supply the demand for years to come. Arvonia has one store of general merchandise, blacksmith shops, and the town company have a large and finely finished building occupied as the office of the company. This building would be a credit to Topeka, Lawrence, or Leavenworth. As I passed by the office, I saw the card of the Home Insurance Company of Topeka, Kansas, perched above the door. From the number of plates, I see that the home company of Topeka has more risks in Osage County than any other company. Long live the home. There is already a fine church in course of erection and is said to be large enough when completed to accommodate a town of 1,000 inhabitants. Mr. Jones and Whitaker donate the church a lot and $500 in cash. Arvonia is destined to become a large city. The men are the right kind and they have the greenbacks. One car of lumber came in on three wagons, one wagon being drawn by six yoke of oxen, the other two by four yoke to each. The excavation for the cellar of a house that is to contain 7,500 feet of lumber is almost done. They are pushing the work with a will. Three ox teams arrived this evening for the purpose of turning over the soil. Mr. Whitaker is the leading man of Arvonia and is well qualified for the position. He is a good, clever fellow and is bound to win many friends, wherever he may be. Little interesting bit of history from Arvonia, written in the Osage County Chronicle from Burlingame, dated August 7, 1869. <laughs>
cousin David and I took my grandmother to the St. David's concert in Emporia. My grandmother, Bertha Jones, had been involved in Welsh events all her life, and her daughters participated in the Eisteddfods, which were competitions in music and recitation in the village of Arvonia, 20 miles northeast of Emporia. My grandfather, Fred Jones, served many times as president of the Arvonia Society. Today, I am standing at the pulpit in what was the Calvinistic Methodist Church in Arvonia. My grandfather, Ellis Evans, built this church and the pulpit and the lampstands. So it is very special for me to stand here today to give the benediction. We are thankful for all those today who have let their light shine through their talents and have helped make our 133rd St. David's concert possible. May our thoughts be with all those in the world who have been affected by COVID. Many of us have experienced loss, as has our St. David's Society. Tom Fowler was dedicated to our society and will be deeply missed. May we close with the blessing of St. David, the patron saint of Wales. O oh God, who in thy providence did choose thy servant David to be the apostle of the Welsh people, that he might cause the light of the gospel to shine in the world. Grant us so to walk in that light that we may come at last to the light of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To close out our program today, we are going to be singing God Be With You Till We Meet Again. I have some adopted Welsh sisters, Natasha Jenkins, Kayla Green, Kendra Briggs, myself, Jana Briggs. And after all, we are brothers and sisters, and we haven't been together this year, but in God's family, we're always together. Till we meet again. <laughs> 